Welcome back to Hannity. Left-wing Hollywood director Quentin Tarantino has been embroiled in a firestorm of controversy for recently making anti-police remarks at a rally in New York City. But now he's actually doubling down on those idiotic comments. Watch this. I was under the impression I was an American and that I had First Amendment rights and there was no problem with me going to uh, an anti-police brutality uh, protest and uh, and speaking my mind. They want to demonize me. They want to slander me, say, uh, imply that I'm saying things that I didn't say. Um, and then, uh, uh, but th and for what reason? Can, can and the re well, the reason is because they want me to shut up. No, keep speaking, because the more you speak, the dumber you show yourself to be. Now, Tarantino also went on to explain that this issue was stemming from, quote, white supremacy. Really? What's this? The organization who uh, uh, put it on was, uh, it's called uh, Rise Up October. And they got in touch with me because I had made statements in some uh, interviews, you know, along the way that it suggested that I'm on their side when it comes to this issue of, um, you know, Ultimately, what I feel is a problem of uh, white supremacy in this country. And that's not all. Later in the interview, Tarantino even took a shot at our friend, Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark. Watch this. They're slandering me. I'm not a cop hater, uh, but Patrick Lynch, uh, that's the way they attack me, is calling me a cop hater. That's the way uh, that Milwaukee County Sheriff uh, David Clark, who's on Fox all the time, says that I'm uh, uh, putting police in danger by standing up for the rights of unarmed citizens who have been killed by the police. But at the same time, they say that about anybody who acknowledges that there's a problem in law enforcement in this country right now is considered by law enforcement part of the problem, whether that be me, whether that be Bill de Blasio, whether that be President Barack Obama, who in the case of both Patrick Lynch and David Clark have accused all three of us of this of this action. Here to respond, Milwaukee County Sheriff David Clark. Sheriff, um, he seems a bit unhinged to me watching that interview, but that doesn't excuse what he did and what he said. He said those comments, made those comments about, quote, murderers, talking about cops at an anti-cop rally the week after, the weekend after a cop was shot and killed in New York. That was the context in which it was stated. Your response. Sure, and you notice that he had to look down and read from the script that somebody prepared for him. He didn't know who David Clark was. I have never talked about Quentin Tarantino on Fox News, but that's neither here nor there. This guy really stepped in it. And you know, it's not unusual for this thing to happen. Here's the phenomena. You have these Hollywood elites. He's a one percenter, a limousine liberal, who feels a little guilty about his lot in life. And so every once in a while, what these elites do is they go down and appear at these demonstrations, and they try to get their legitimacy uh, that they're down with the struggle. And they go down there, they get too far out ahead of their skis, and they say something stupid. Look, Quentin Tarantino's father, his dad said that his son was wrong and should apologize. My advice to Quentin Tarantino, honor thy father. Apologize, get yourself out of this. I'll tell you what, I'll make you a deal, Quentin. You take the proceeds, the profits from your next movie, donate them to the Concerns of Police Survivor or the National uh, uh, Law Enforcement Memorial uh, Wall in Washington, D.C., maybe NYPD, for survivors of people who've been killed in the line of duty, and I'll help call off the dogs on this, this proposed boycott. But what he needs to do is realize that when he's going to go down for his own gain, like I said, he wants to feel he's down with the struggle. He has no idea what uh, people who he showed up with uh, down there are living like. He, has no, his, he shares no black experiences. The fact is that this guy is used to red carpets and champagne toasts. That's his lifestyle. That's what he's guilty about because he doesn't want these groups to turn on him. You know, I, I think you make great comments. You know what I would like to do, Sheriff? How about I invite Quentin Tarantino? I don't think he'll have the courage to show up here, but to come on with you. And maybe you can explain to him and educate him because he seems pretty ignorant about what life is like out on the streets for cops every day. I think that might be a good experience for him. Maybe he can, maybe he can talk to some of the families of, of the lost hero cops uh, in the line of du duty out there protecting and serving before he uses a broad brush and talks about calling the murderers murderers. Um, he's not talking about most cops, and he didn't make the distinction. And nobody's trying to stop his First Amendment rights, but he has a First Amendment right, and I have one too, and I don't want to go see his movies anymore. I'm not interested. Well, this isn't even... 
Son, as you know, this isn't even a First Amendment issue. He doesn't even know what he's talking about. No government entity is telling Quentin Tarantino to knock it off. But I will say this. He should show up in the first week of May, the second week of May, during Police uh, Memorial Week in Washington, D.C., visit the mall with the, uh, the wall that has the name of 20,500 law enforcement officers who have been killed in the line of duty. Sean, I reached out to MSNBC for a counterpoint of view to his rambling and his babbling yesterday, and they declined. They said they're not big fans of mine. I guess they don't wow. share Fox News' fair and balanced philosophy. Well, I'm inviting Quentin here. Sheriff, that's, that's sad to hear. Uh, I'll join you in your effort. I would love to see him have a discussion with you about life on the streets for the average man and woman that is out there putting their lives on the line for us. Sheriff, uh, you're our friend of this program. Thank you for being with us. Thank you, Sean.